Hello everyone. Okay, so in this video we're looking at the equation of the tangent line, right? So what we need to remember about the relationship between tangents and calculus is, right? The first derivative gives us the slope of the tangent to the curve at that value of x. So looking at this here, this tangent line here would, um, the slope of this would be my first derivative evaluated at x1. Right, so finding a, um, the first derivative uh, and sub in a value of x will give us the slope of the tangent at that value of x. So uh, sometimes we're asked to find the equations of said tangent, tangents. So how do we do that? Well, remember for equation of a line, we need a point and we need a slope, right? So usually they will give us a point or maybe a coordinate. And then we need to find the slope by finding the first derivative and then subbing in uh, the given x value. So, how to find the equation of a tangent? You find dy dx, you then evaluate dy dx at the, at the point given, and then you use your, equa your equation of a line formula to find the equation of a line. Let's look at this um, example here. This is from 2024. Uh, the function f is defined for x element real numbers as 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 5x minus 11. Find the equation of the tangent to the graph at the point x equals 2. So, we need to find the equation of the tangent at x equals 2. Well, for the equation of a line, I need a point and a slope. I do not have my y coordinate, so to find my corresponding y coordinate, I need to sub x in. So, sub that in there. I'm going to get 2 times 2 cubed minus 9 times 2 squared plus 5 times 2 minus 11. That is a number that is 8, 16 minus 2 times 2 cubes minus 9 plus 21. Minus so my point would be 2 and minus 21. That's my point. Then my slope is going to be my first derivative at x is equal to 2. That is my slope. So my first derivative using my power rule, bring the 3 down. So it'd be 6x squared minus, bring the 2 down. So 2 times minus 9 is minus 18. Minus 18x plus 5. Right, that's my dy dx, and I, I need to evaluate that at x is equal to 2. So 6 times 2 squared minus 18 times 2 plus 5. 6 times 2 squared minus 18 plus 5. So my slope will be minus 7. So my point is 2 minus 21, and my slope is minus 7. So the equation of a line is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. That's y minus negative 21 equals minus 7 times x minus uh, 2. So okay, my point is 2 minus 21, and my slope is minus 7. So evaluate that y plus 21 equals minus 7x plus 14. y is equal to minus 7x minus 7. And that's the Right, let's try this one now. This is from 2023. Uh, a tangent to the curve y equals 12 over x is drawn at the point p at uh, 12 over p, uh, where p is a real number and p is greater than 0. Show that the equation of the tangent is given by this. So, First, we need a point and a slope. Well, I have my point, that is p, and uh, p and 12 over p. That's x1, is y1. So I need my slope. So that is my first derivative evaluated at x equals p. So my first derivative is, well, y is equal to 12 times x to the power of minus 1. So dy dx is equal to minus 12 x to the power of minus 2, which is minus 12 over x squared. And evaluating that at x is equal to p, 
my slope is minus 12 over p squared. Now that I have my slope equation of a line, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So y minus 12 over p equals minus 12 over p squared times x minus 12 over p. Nope, it's not 12 over p, sorry, just p. So this is my y by x value. So y minus 12 over p is equal to minus 12 over p squared x. The minus 12 over p squared times p, one of the p's will cancel out here. So it'd be minus, or oh, sorry, plus 12 over p. Bring this minus 12 p over, that's going to be plus 12p. So now I'm going to have y is equal to minus 12 over p squared x plus 12 over p plus 12 over p, which would be 24 over p. And that is what we were asked to find there. Right? Proven. Right. Um, okay, so um, let's look at this question from 24. 2018, so let h of x equal cosine 2 of x. A tangent line is drawn to the graph at h of x where x is equal to pi over 3. Find the angle that this tangent makes to the positive sense of the x axis. So if you recall from coordinate geometry, right, if that is my tangent line there, I'm looking for this angle. And what we know is tan of an angle is equal to the slope. So the tan of that angle is equal to the slope. So I feel like that is gonna be coming useful. So uh, I need to find my slope of this tangent line. Well, uh, it's gonna be my first derivative evaluated at pi over three. So my first derivative is gonna be equal to, so cosine two x goes to minus sine two x, and then multiply by the derivative of the angle, which is two, so it's minus two, sine 2x, evaluate at x equals pi over 3, I get minus 2 sine times 2 times pi over 3, I get minus root 3. So tan inverse is equal to minus root 3. So we kind of have a little bit of a trig equation here, so, sex and the city. So I'm looking for where tan is negative, and tan is negative in the first quadrant and the third quadrant, but I'm only dealing with the positive sense of the x-axis. So I actually only need to look at this quadrant here. So this is gonna be tan inverse. So, so tan root three, so drop the minus, tan inverse root three. Tan inverse root three. One over three, my second quadrant is pi minus my reference angle. Therefore, my actual angle is going to be pi minus one third pi, which is equal to two pi over three, which is roughly equal to 120 degrees. Right. Let's look at um let's look at one more here at uh, twenty twelve. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve y equals root x at the point nine three. So y is equal to x to the power of a half. Therefore dy dx is equal to a half times x to the power of minus a half. Uh, which is equal to a half times one over root x. Evaluate that at x equals to nine to find my slope. So it's a half times one over root nine, which is one half times one third, which is equal to one six. So my slope is one six. My point is nine three. So it's y minus three is equal to one six. X minus nine. Don't like that six. What's right across my six? 6y minus 18 
is equal to x minus 9. Uh, x minus 6y minus 9 plus 18 is plus 9 is equal to 0. And there is the of my pair. Right, and I think I'll leave today's video there. If you somewhat helpful. Uh, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>